So a lot of you probably already know that I'm a huge Batman fan, but I'm also a big fan of D&D. And a thought that I've been bouncing around was, how would you fit Batman into D&D? Before we get too much further into that though, did you know that we have new merchandise up on our store? I collabed with Dustin Kinney Art on Instagram to create merch that featured three different characters from Gotham 1889. Make sure to go check it out at the link in the description. So back to the Batman and D&D idea. This video is going to be the first in what I hope to be a series going into kind of the statistical side of things and kind of the homebrew side of things to create a playable version of D&D with Batman characters and the Batman mythos. Obviously it'll take a little bit of work, but in the meantime, we'll have a little bit of fun. I'll do another part to this video where we talk about creating Batman in D&D as far as he would appear on a character sheet, but for this first part of that experience, I've got something a little different in mind. Using the resources available on Hero Forge and their character customization, I created Batman using some of the assets they had available. I added a bit of color just for visualization purposes, as it's pretty expensive to actually buy minis using their colored plastic. Going with their basic plastic that they have available, when it arrives, it'll look a little bit like this. But that's A-OK -okay because I've been brushing up quite literally on my painting skills. So I'll see you guys again once it arrives. Alright, so I'm now looking back and realizing that I forgot to take a before picture, but that's alright. We'll just go right into the painting process. For this project, I used Game Color paints. You can find these in a lot of different places. The most easy one might be online, but we'll be using gold, white, black, dark flesh tone, which is basically just a dark brown, chainmail silver, and we'll be using black wash too to kind of fill in those details. I like to use silicone brushes when I paint miniatures just because the paint cleans off really easily and the pointed tips are really good at getting in in those minute details. So first up we'll do a base coat of all the heavy colors that we'll be using. This includes black, silver, anything that'll be covering the majority of this miniature. And we'll make sure to go over it as much as we possibly can. The idea here isn't to be precise, but more to just get that color down so that you can start to visualize and so that you can prep for the next phase of painting this miniature. For the second phase, you're going to be taking that black wash and you're going to be completely coating everything that you've just done in that base coat. What this black wash does is because it's more watery, it fills in those little spaces you can't quite reach with your brush and adds depth and color to them. This makes it look more weathered, this makes it look more realistic, and less just like flat colors. Definitely a really important part of the painting process with this miniature. The third and final step is to take some of that paint and just fill in some of the spots that either dried weird or just don't look quite finished. This will help to give you a final product that you're happy with in the long run. For the finished product, I didn't picture it here, but I ended up using a sharpie to make an impromptu, kind of haggard looking bat symbol, almost like it was just etched on the armor itself by Batman. This ended up giving me the look I was hoping for, and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out overall. Now that we have this miniature painted, the next step and the next video will go into how to create Batman as a character in D&D. Using a character sheet and using statistics that you would normally use to create a player character in the game. A very special thank you to our Patreon members, channel members, and GoFundMe supporters for making this project and all of our projects possible. If you're interested in joining and supporting our channel, the links are in the description below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for all of your support. I'll leave you with these final words. The night is darkest just before the dawn, 
and I promise you, the dawn is coming. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.